Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Exile video, and in this one I'm going to talk about the most broken combination of mechanics that I have seen in a very long time in this game. It is obnoxiously overpowered, and I am certain this will be nerfed. At the same time, we've seen oh, crazy combinations like this go unseen because it's utilizing minions. And why this is so crazy is because, because of a certain amulet, we are able to abuse the living fuck out of this with builds that are not minion builds. Which means that this combination can be used in essentially most other builds in the entire game. And they are all using the gang sign 666 fucking ashes of the star. So let's just see if we can get that going in the global chat here that we have. Because the Ashes of the Stars, what this does is it gives us a level of extra level of all skills to all your spells. It also provides 30% quality of all skills. You see my boys are spamming up our gang sign. It's what we do here in the summoner community. But in this case, this combination of mechanics can be used for non minion builds as well. So, what's so crazy with this? Brittle Boots. Brittle Boots whilst moving. By putting a pair of these boots, which is an implicit modifier from the uh, the uh, Searing Exarch, allows you to uh, prop a brittle ground on the effect, which means that if you just convocate your minion, in this case the enemy guardian, a little bit away from the boss, your enemy guardian will move up to the boss and apply brittle to him. That is a 5% baseline brittle. That is 5% base critical strike chance. For minion builds, what that means is that an additional 5% brittle is essentially allowing you to get 100% crit very, very easily. Now, you can apply this on a non-minion build by keeping the enemy guardian alive. I'm going to leave a link in the descriptions below how do you can gear and how do you, the mechanics work for the enemy guardian. So that link will be in the descriptions. So by having this on the AG, he's going to make you do a stupid amount of crit. That's so crazy. And the way you keep him alive for non-minion builds is by using the Ashes of the Star, which is already a, a commonly known in the community to be one of the best amulets in the entire game. That's how strong and stupid this amulet is. So the 30% quality would apply to your enemy guardian. Now, if you look at the enemy guardian gem, such as a divergent AG, the quality there gives increased maximum HP. Now, with the amulet, he's going to have 50% increased uh, quality instead. And therefore, he's sitting on, in this case, 196% increased minion life. For reference, if you look at the tree that I have, I have no investment in minion life outside of these two nodes. That is 20% minion life. And then I have the life nodes from him that comes from the actual uh, ascendancy, which is another 20%. So in this specific build, I actually only have... Actually, there's one node there that I missed. I have 50% increased HP from, um, from my gear in, in this summoner-related build. And with that, without gear included, my AG is sitting on 80,000 life. This is with um, a level 19 gem. This means that you can very easily keep this guy alive in a non-minion build by simply having this amulet and no investment for minion life whatsoever on the tree. Another thing to mention is Ray Spectre. We go to Ray Spectre gem. Uh, there's a couple of different qualities because the generic one, he gives you movement speed. And then you have the Anomalous giving extra minion HP. And then it's reduced stun threshold and maximum frenzy charge. So if you go with an Anomalous Ray Spectre, you can do the exact same setup with this amulet and actually have a four link where you have an enemy guardian with uh, feeding frenzy if you want to, minion life support, maybe elemental army to give him some resistances to keep him alive. And that now your investment to this would cost you a four link, which you can also utilize in a um hungry loop ring for example so instead of using a four link you just offer it you sacrifice a ring slot for this combination to work for non-minion related builds where you get four corrupted uncorrupted support gems and then put your ag in there as well the race specter you can utilize the scourge specters that we have available in our global 6666 channel from the desecrate gem and you can use things like a Pale Seraphim, applying increased damage taken on the enemies. If you're a physical-oriented build, you can actually make sure you put this in a 4-link. And if you do put in a 4-link and you can offer your helmet to this, you can add plus level Socket the Minion Gems in there to in further increase the scaling of HP of these minions. But mainly the level of the gem for the Ray Spectre, because if you get level 25, then you can have three Spectres without the tree for the Death Attunement allowing you to have something like a Demon Harpy, and supporting that with Spell Echo allows that 3% increased physical damage taken, which stacks up to 20 times with two Spectres with Spell Echo. You'll have a very easy time in making sure that, sure that you have full stacks, allowing you to have 60% increased physical damage taken, with the Spectre actually being kept alive thanks to it being anomalous with the Ashes of the Star. That means for non-summoner builds, you can achieve 5% Brittle on the enemies, 
you can achieve 60% increased physical damage taken as well as 15% increased damage taken from the Pale Seraphim. That is a ridiculous amount of damage because of the way the calculation of damage works in this game, where you have your additive and multiplicative damage modifiers resulting in X damage, which is then mitigated by the enemy's defenses. But when the enemy's defenses is telling, is saying, hey, I'm going to take more damage because I'm taking increased damage, that is multiplicative with X damage that you're dealing. Now, put that into, uh, into, uh, into a pers pers perspective where you're not playing a minion build, but you're just utilizing this as utility because Ashes of the Stars allows you to get these minions to survive without an actual minion build to provide this amount of damage. Not to mention that with this combination, you can use the AG with the Brittle Boots, have something like a Doppelganger, Garber the Ephemeral, for example, is crazy because Garber the Ephemeral allows nearby enemies not to crit, which is good defense for you as a player as well, using a Mask of the Stitch Demon uh, or a helmet that makes the enemy take increased fist damage, increased elemental damage, or reduce resistances to whatever type of non minion build you're playing, as well as wearing something like an actual Kingmaker, which allows you to get fortification stacks, 10 of them, as well as increased critical strike multi, as well as culling strike. And all of these things can now be used because of Ash of the Star and alt quality gems on non minion builds. It is absolutely fucking ridiculous. That's all I have for you with this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and hit me up in the comments below what you think of this combination of mechanics. I think it's broken, and I think it will be fucking nerfed. It's so good. See you in the next one. Stay safe. Keep rocking.